Hi, I am Hamid Babrook. I'm senior lecturer and uh, admission a tutor for the postgraduate courses in the School of Computer Science and Electronic Engineering. In this short presentation today, I'll talk about the electronic engineering based master courses we have within the school. And, uh, I, you know, my colleague, uh, Dr. X2, will cover the computer science in a separate presentation. But today, I'll talk about the MSc in electronic engineering, MSc in broadband and optical communications, and the MSc in nanotechnology and microfabrication. So for the MSc in electronic engineering, this is a broad-based electronic engineering degree where you will learn modules and, and uh, uh, information uh, depends on your background and what you want to do in the future. So we have two compulsory modules, which is the research methods and the nano uh, electronics and high speed designs. With the research methods, uh, uh, of course, you have to learn how to plan and conduct a, a research project. So within this module, you will write a proposal about your uh, uh, MSc project and with the nano uh, electronics and high speed design, you will learn about the fabrication techniques uh, we do uh, within our uh, clear room at the School of Computer Science and Electronic Engineering. These two modules are shared with other MSc courses. But then, as I said, this is a broad uh, based degree. Uh, you can uh, choose uh, four of the optional modules. You can do prototyping and fabrication. You, you will learn about why we need prototyping and, and how to process and design a prototype, uh, advanced sensor systems, control. And then if your background or if your interest in material sciences uh, and, and nanoelectronics and microfabrication, microelectronics, then you can do microengineering, uh, RF optical MEMS as well. However, if your background or your interest in communication, you can choose to do mobile communication systems, advanced optical communications, and broadband communication systems. So this is the MSc in electronic engineering. However, if your background in uh, communication and you want to further your uh, a study uh, in uh, communication, then this course more suitable for you. You will do really advanced optical communication. You will learn about the design and operating of advanced digital uh, uh, optical fiber communication systems, uh, emerging broadband communication techniques, emerging mobile uh, communication systems, and the RF and optical MEMS. So this is all to do with uh, uh, communication systems. However, if you want to join our uh, very popular nanotechnology and microfabrication, uh, we are one of very few UK universities offer hand-on time fabricating electronic devices in clear room or operating time on laser micro machining and using micro machining equipment. So this course really a very strong practical based course. You will do more practical, more work inside the clear room or using the laser micro machining equipment uh, during this course. So, you know, you, you will uh, do laser fabrication you will do microengineering, which means you, know, you will go into the clear room and learn about lithography and, and how you fabricate uh, uh, devices using organic and inor uh, inorganic materials. And of course, enterprise design and modeling, where you do practical modeling and design using console multiphysics. But at the end of these uh, uh, taught courses, you will do an individual project. And to do that, 
you will join one of our research uh, uh, groups. So for example, if you are doing nanotechnology uh, course or you are doing the MSc in electronic engineering, really this plastic electronic uh, uh, group, which is I am member of uh, this group, will be suitable for us. So you will be in the clear room working on fabrication and, and characterization of flexible electronics would be display, uh, solar cells, uh, uh, memory devices, uh, organic transistors, uh, all these uh, materials. You can see the, the three students in the picture. They were in 2018 uh, doing their MSc with me on fabrication of organic devices. So this picture taken inside our clear room, which is, you know, the picture which is, you know, next to uh, the picture of the three students. Or you can join our medical electronics group. Uh, you will do either lab on chip devices, uh, drug delivery and uh, different uh, projects. And this usually in collaboration with the Creo Medical. So the head of this group is the director of Creo Medical uh, and will give you a project related to what they do in their company. Or you can choose to, especially if you are doing uh, the uh, communication or you know, the optical communication degree, you can join the nanoscale and you know, nonlinear uh, optoelectronics group. You will you know, learn about uh, optical communication or you do projects in optical communications, organic semiconductor lasers, and so on. So really, uh, uh, the practical side we offer here is, uh, 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 you know, internationally recognized and all our external examiners uh, uh, commended us with the work we give students during their projects and, and, and you know, to, to work within the clear room or joining our uh, uh, communication system uh, research groups. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation. And if you have any question related to your application, uh, please do not hesitate to contact me. Uh, and I hope I will see you uh, in September. Thank you very much. I'll see you then.